my mom woke me. Jumping out of bed, I heard my dad yelling as I watched him chase my mum with a knife. Witnessing my mum being stabbed in the back by my dad is an image I can never erase. I can still see his cold, callous eyes staring back at me as he drove off in the back of a police car. This moment changed my life forever. It was the beginning of my nightmare. I can still smell the musty scent of the grey flannel suit the social worker wore the day he took away my older brothers, sister and twin. At seven, my resilience training had begun. Thirteen foster homes and thirteen schools became my battlefields where on every level I was bullied. Kids would call me names and exclude me from their games. And they'd punch me when I was already crying. And in foster care, the bullying turned to psychological. When I was just 12 years old, I was faced with the biggest decision of my life. Donna, you can stay in foster care until you're 18 and free to leave. Or return to your father, who's been released from prison, back into the home where he murdered my mum. I returned to my dad because I'd finally be reunited with the love of my brothers, my sister and my twin. The following five years, living with my alcoholic father and his unpredictable mental health was nothing short of traumatic. I was 17 when he drank himself to death and if you can imagine, this was like waking from a nightmare. My life felt completely empty. I reached out to Lifeline. What had I done wrong to attract so much sadness in my life? Coming to the realisation that my childhood trauma happened to me and not because of me was life changing. I am so grateful for the life lessons I've learned and the resilient temple I've grown and continue to grow into this tiny warrior that stands here before you today and inspired by my husband's words. Man, you've got to share your story which ignited my passion to develop a Dream Guard anti-bullying program because I am trying to guard the dreams of my two teenagers who potentially could be parents themselves in five years. And we have a ticking time bomb on our hands. And now is the time to act. We have eight suicides per day because of mental health issues. And these tools that I have developed came from an amazing meditation, a peaceful meditation. And these tools are peace. P. It stands for protect yourself and be powerful. And Sammy is our amazing Dream Guide Ambassador. He upholds the peace tools in our community. P. Protect yourself and be powerful. Stand tall with your shoulders back and your head up high. E, escape the situation. Always trust your instincts. Walk away, run away, and online turn off your device. Never allow anyone to abuse you. A, armor yourself. Use your imagination to build a powerful armor around your body so that other people's opinions don't matter in your world. A lion never loses sleep over the opinions of sheep, so be the lion. C. Create strong friendships in your community of like-minded people who show you compassion, kindness and have your back. E. Express your emotions. Reach out for the help and support you need if you are being bullied or abused. And be the upstander in your community. Help and high-five someone in need. Remember, you are not alone. My vision is to ignite a movement of Dream Guard ambassadors like Sammy that will empower every student across Australia. Standing united is a common thread, connecting communities and upholding the core values of peace. Peace is within reach. Reach out with the peace out and high five the person next to you right now. Be part of this movement, this movement of peace.